Today we're talking about how to start an LLC in Louisiana. My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you three different ways you can set up an LLC. One is going through your state website. Another one is also doing it yourself through free online legal tools. And the third is how do you find an attorney, somebody that you can trust that can set up an LLC for you. And the cool thing about the attorney side of it is I'm going to give you a tip on how you can get a free 15 minute consult as well. But before we get to all that, there are three things I want to make you aware of just in case you're not familiar with them. And these terms are piercing the corporate veil, registered agent, and commingling funds. Now, if you don't know what those words are and what they exactly mean and as it pertains to an LLC, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video because it's really important that you understand those so that there are no cracks in your LLC. So why don't we get started by, uh, we Google Louisiana LLC, you go down, first listing here, organic listing is the state website. Now, the first thing I wanna make you aware of is that you can search for Louisiana business filings. And then what we're gonna do is go over here to this link. And what this link's gonna allow us to do is search for your entity name. You want a name that is not already taken. Now, as you'd imagine, if I were to put saints in here, there's gonna be a lot of businesses with the word saints in it. And you can see that just because you have Saints Inc., Saints, Saints Alive Cafe, uh, Renew, Auto Sales, all sorts of businesses with that name. And you see all the pages down here. Now, if we were to do a new search, and I was just to kind of put, you know, whatever, just kind of type some things in on the keyboard, uh, what you're gonna find here is it's gonna say that uh, there are no active uh, records shown, right? There's nothing beneath that black bar there. That's what you want when you're naming your business. You wanna make sure that you have a unique name that is not already an active record in the LLC records. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Now, if we go back a little bit, uh, and you know, always have issues with the state websites, uh, what you're gonna do is click start a business, and then file original documents if you're going through the state website. It's gonna have you create an account, which I've already done, and then once you get into that account, what you'll do is you'll click get started and it's gonna walk you through step-by-step step of what you need to do. Now, the issue that I have with state websites is I think that they gloss over details too quickly, and I'll give you a good example of that. I'm gonna go to this um, uh, report here that I've already started uh, setting up an LLC, and this particular step here, it's talking about the, um, the company's registered office. So you read that and you're like, all right, registered office, is that like where we're doing business? What does that mean? Uh, what they're getting at, and they're gonna ask in the future steps here, is they're gonna start asking you about who your registered agent is. And a lot of these sites, what they do is they say, who's your registered agent? And you're not sure who that is, so you go, oh, I don't know, like my buddy down the street, my cousin over here, and people just kind of throw something together because they don't understand all the terms and how it affects the LLC that they're setting up. So before I explain what a registered agent is, I think it's a good thing to go back and explain exactly what an LLC does and what it doesn't do, and then go from there. Because the reason I think this is important is a lot of people think they're setting up an LLC and there's some sort of tax advantage. There is not, that's not why you set up an LLC. It's strictly for limiting your liability. So once you set up your LLC, you know, you can kind of picture it this way. On the left-hand side of the screen here is your business and your business assets. That could be the furniture, you know, the office itself, things like that. And on the right-hand side, you have your personal assets. So these are things such as your personal home, personal car, personal bank accounts. When you get an LLC, it draws a division between your personal assets and your business assets. That division is known as the corporate veil. But what happens is, is you, if you have a good LLC and you have that corporate veil, when somebody sues you, they can come after your business assets, but not your personal assets. But what that attorney is going to try to do is they're going to try to pierce the corporate veil. And if they are able to do that, what, basically what they're able to do is find a crack in your LLC, that division disappears, and then they're able to come after not only your business assets, but your personal assets as well. So that's what an LLC does. It helps protect those personal assets and separate them from the business. Now, one of the ways that they may try to pierce the corporate veil is looking into your registered agent and seeing if this is a legit registered agent and if they have made any mistakes for you and your business. Now, a nice article on this is on Inkfile here. If you're not familiar with Inkfile, it's a free online legal tool. And uh, all of the links that I am mentioning in this video, by the way, they will be in the description below. Um, if any of them are affiliate links, I'll mark them as a paid link, but most of these are just free resources. And now if we go down here, it talks about these five quick bullet points of a registered agent. Uh, official letters and correspondence from your Secretary of State. So this third party that has a separate address from your business is pulling in these documents and making sure they're getting forwarded to you. Service of process notices. So basically, if you get sued, that you appear in court, very important. Um, official federal government correspondence information and notifications, tax forms and requests for payments and requests to complete permits, company filings or reports. So this registered agent is really helping you dot your I's and cross your T's when it comes to your LLC. So they're really important for making sure things are legit and you have no cracks. 
So an attorney can't pierce the corporate veil and come after your personal home, car, and bank accounts. So very important. Now, as you go through the state websites, like I mentioned, they kind of just gloss over these kind of details. And I never really liked that because I feel like you need to have your hand held a little bit more if you're walking through the process. I think that Inc. File does a really great job of this. They've helped set up over 500,000 businesses. And what I find is a lot of times the state websites, you know, they don't have the same budgets or at least they don't care as much as some of these online legal tools because these tools have spent a lot of time and energy to create something that really guides you through the process. And one of the things I like about this is that you can get set up for as little as zero dollars plus state fee the state fee in louisiana you're looking at about a hundred dollars if you go through the state website plus your uh, credit card processing fees uh, if you go through this tool right here it's 105 dollars all in uh, and what you do is click launch my business and then i'm going to start over here just to give you the steps uh, you're going to click llc here 80% of all new entities set up are LLC, so you're in good company there, and you'll select your state, and what will happen is it'll have three different packages here. So the first package is $0 plus your state fee, but then it'll do the preparing and filing of articles of organization, the unlimited name searches, which you can do on the state website as well, which I showed you, and then free registered agent service for a year. So that's really important. Uh, you, you can get a buddy to be your registered agent. I highly, highly, uh, you know, would push you into not doing that because if that person slips up once, you might be putting your own personal home and assets on the line because that registered agent didn't do what they were supposed to do. Now, you might be wondering, like I said, how do they do this for zero dollars? If we go back to this article and scroll down on registered agents, you'll see this one right here. It's zero dollars, but then it's 119 annually after that. So, Again, looking at this, it's zero dollars that first year for the service, but then it's 119 year one or year two, I should say, 119 year three, and so on. Uh, if you do want to use a different registered agent service down the line, you can always switch that out. But I just want you to be aware of that fee. Now, I do want to make you aware of a couple things in the gold package here. Uh, it's really up to you if you want to upgrade into these other packages. It depends on your needs. Um, EIN business tax number. So I set this up for myself when I got my LLC. Uh, this was kind of a pain in the butt, and I should let you know, I'm not an attorney or a CPA. I'm just somebody who's done a lot of research on this topic. And the way that you would set up this EIN business tax number is you'd go to this link right here. And again, this URL will be in the description below. And it's going to walk you through if you need one, you know, how do you apply and all these things. So you can go through the IRS website to apply for that EIN. So I want to make you aware of that. So, you know, maybe it can save you some money if you want to go with the silver package. But if you want it taken care of you because you don't want it or taken care for you, uh, because you just don't want to deal with the hassle, you can go through and get the gold package. The other thing to be aware of is business banking account. Now, if you recall at the beginning of the video, we had talked about commingling funds. What that term means is basically some people will start a business and they have their personal bank account and they never set up a business bank account. So they're running, um, you know, personal transactions through that account, of course, but also business transactions, invoices, expenses, payments, all of that. So they are co-mingling funds. And again, if an attorney were to find that out, that is a crack in your LLC, that attorney may be able to pierce the corporate veil because of that crack and then come after your personal assets. So that's why it's so important day one to get that uh, business bank account set up. Uh, right now, uh, Inc. File does that through uh, Bank of America. You don't have to use that service if you don't want, but it's kind of nice again because they're kind of just putting the whole package together for you. Now, if you were, uh, one other thing I want to make note of too is when you get the business bank account, it's also helpful come tax time because when you're looking at all your expenses and incomes, you can easily export all those or you can even integrate to an accounting software and make it very easy on yourself to do accounting for your new business. Whereas if it was in your personal account, it's a mess, right? You're like, oh, I think that one was a personal expense. That one's a business expense. Separate them on day one. You'll thank me later. Now, if you were to go with the gold package here, the way it's going to look on the next page is you're going to see it all broken out, right? 149 for the package fee, 105 for the state fee. Again, no way around that 105 fee. If you get an attorney, they may bake it into their fees, but you were paying the state of Louisiana $105. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to make mention of here is the tax saving benefit. Uh, this is a fully deductible business expense. So even if you go through the state website, make sure you keep this expense in mind come tax time so that you're deducting that from your taxes. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is if you want to hire an attorney, why would you do that? Well, if you're a little bit nervous setting things up yourself, but really a lot of times the reason people do it is they have a complex business. Maybe you are doing sales in state and out of state. So you're dealing with domestic and foreign LLCs, or perhaps you have a business that carries more liability with it naturally. So if you were to have a bakery versus a roofing company, as you'd imagine a roofing company is gonna carry more liability and you might wanna talk with an attorney. 
So one tool that I like for that is this service called Avo. It's like a lawyer directory service. So you can see that we're looking at just Louisiana limited liability company lawyers and there's 35 of them. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I will have a link in the description below so you can check that out. And what you'll see is if you click this button down here, free consultation, and we filter down, now we have five results, which is helpful. And you can see reviews on these attorneys and they will give you a free 15 minute consult when you call them to discuss your situation. So I just think this is a helpful resource as well. So the last thing I want to talk about is this ink file review on the screen here. At about the 230 mark is where I talk about an S Corp versus LLC tax calculator. This is helpful stuff to understand down the road and how you can possibly save on taxes. So I'm going to catch you in that next video. And again, thank you for using my links in the description below, especially the paid links, which help support my YouTube channel so I can make more helpful content just like this. I'll catch you in the next video.